Some manufacturers flirt with station wagon designs, styling them in the guise of trendy crossovers, while others have abandoned the station wagon altogether. Not the case with Audi. Nope, Audi has been loyal to the wagon style in the States now for over 20 years. And here I have the 2007 A6 wagon, or Avant, as Audi terms all of their wagons. This particular model is equipped with the base 3.2 liter V6 engine, quattro all-wheel drive, and a six-speed automatic. What's so surprising in this day and age of bloated bodies is how low slung the A6 Avant is. With a height of only 58 inches, loading roof cargo, the kids, or groceries is simple, something SUV owners have sacrificed. And there is a lot of room inside with its long, wide body. The A6 Avant eats up more cargo and more easily than you'd ever guess. The rear area is also equipped with sliding dividers, folding floor pieces, and clever storage to keep things safe and secure. It provides over 6 cubic feet of more cargo room than a Dodge Magnum. Having the utility angle buttoned down, the A6 Avant gladly plays the sport role better than SUVs as well. The driving dynamics are nothing short of superb here, with the immediate awakening of the 255 horsepower direct injected V6. Coupled with the Tiptronics dynamic shift program, this wagon just loves to be driven in a sporty manner and rewards the driver with exciting reaction times and solidly planted grip. Gas mileage of 17 city and 25 highway is notable too. The Quattro all-wheel drive system on this front drive based car is standard on the A6 Avant and can handle even the most treacherous conditions with a plum. Equipped with a set of winter tires, I took the A6 out on a pure sheet of ice to get a feel for the system's characteristics and it's a savior when control is needed most. I don't recommend this with a two-wheel drive car. The Germans are known for their understated elegance, but the American in me wishes the A6 Avant had more style, more pop when it comes down the road. With beautiful cars like the A5 and R8, I know Audi has it in them to bless this wagon with a little more contemporary flair. Inside, there are numerous additions to my tester, including the $4,000 technology package featuring the navigation system and the $2,750 convenience package with its Bose sound system, bi-xenon adaptive headlights, and power tilt and telescoping wheel. These 18-inch wheels add $900. Rising from a base price of $48,000 to $56,715 as seen here, I was suffering from a case of sticker shock. Despite how well it accomplishes its intended chore, that's a price which is hard to justify with very good, far less pricey competition waiting in non-German showrooms like Saab and Volvo. For drivetimeonmyride.com, I'm Steve Hammes.